Hi, I'm just gonna read the questions off the computer as we do this. First and last name. I am Josh Rackless, age 48, height five foot six, occupation, I'm an advertising copywriter, so I write commercials, and I'm also a voice actor. And my marital status is single, never married, no kids that I know of. It's my little joke, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no kids. Uh, okay, what has the dating scene been like for me in Toronto? Um, I'm a veteran of the dating scene. Uh, I've been through all the dating apps. Um, I'm Jewish, so I've done like jdate.com and sort of met all the girls in Thornhill. Um, I've done, you know, Tinder, Bumble, all that stuff. Um, it's been all right. I've realized that to find somebody you really connect with, it's it's very rare. Like maybe every three years you, you meet someone like that. Um, but there's certainly, well, there has been a lot of single people available in Toronto. Uh, it dries up a bit when you get older, um, I guess after the age of 40. See, 40 is when I had my last girlfriend and I broke up with her because I thought, no, no, I'm still not ready to settle down. But then uh, things really become limited, or at least uh, the dating pool changes. Now it's it's women who have grown kids and uh, and maybe they're looking for somebody else who has grown kids. And so in my never married, no kids status, it's uh, been a bit tougher. Um, and I've done uh, speed dating. Uh, there's a in-person in speed dating company that invited me. Um, I, I reached out to them. I said, I could maybe help you with your videos or something. They're like, actually, well, we do our own videos, but we like your cartoons. So I was drawing cartoons for them for a while. And then after a while I was exchanging cartoons uh, to get, uh, yeah, for tickets for their events, and then they were just like, here, you can come for freaks, we need men. Uh, there was always too many women, so I've done that, and then how have uh, things during the pandemic affected me? Well, the speed dating company has pivoted, and uh, they're doing them on Zoom, so I've been going to Zoom speed dating events uh, of all kinds, from the original in-person speed dating company, and also there's these Jewish events, and they do like a big Zoom call for uh, New Year's or Valentine's Day, um, I've joined a bunch of singles groups on Facebook. So, I mean, I guess I was always doing stuff online, but now it's just been exclusively online. A lot of people don't want to meet in person. And uh, and actually what's affected me is I've been in Ottawa um, for the past year because I, I decided I really wanted to be able to meet people anywhere because uh, I didn't want to be limited. I feel like I've tried the whole dating pool in Toronto. So I sold my Toronto condo in 2019. And I was like, okay, if I meet somebody anywhere in the world, I'll be able to go to them. And then uh, the pandemic happened. So I've been back in Ottawa where my family is and everything. Uh, and the dating pool in Ottawa is much less than Toronto. Um, so yeah, it's time to start meeting people in Toronto again and, uh, and see how that goes. My ideal first date, uh, I mean, I've, I've always just liked going for walks. Like I feel like a first date it's just a chance to get to know somebody. It feels like too much pressure to be like, okay, I've chatted you with you for two seconds. We're going to commit to this expensive dinner or we're going to, you know, commit to this full day event. I feel like, yeah, I just meet for coffee and have a chat. On the other hand, it can be difficult to, sometimes you just can't chat. I, I'm like, I've met people who you sit down with and for three hours you can just banter and stuff and that's awesome, but that's very rare. Uh, so sometimes you need something else to do. So it could just be something like, hey, let's go apple picking or let's uh, go look at the Christmas decorations in the window at the bay. Um, anything where, I mean, I, I do like walking, like exploring the city and, and finding new things. Maybe stopping for gelato would be nice. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of low key. I find that I can have fun doing anything and it's just uh, about the person you're with. Like I've had fun just shopping for groceries with someone or just... Um, one time I went with a girl, we just had dinner and then just went for a walk around University of Toronto and then just lay in the grass looking at the stars and that was pretty awesome. So I would love somebody that I could just lie in the grass with and look at stars. Uh, I don't think that's too much to ask, right? So there's my ideal first date, lie in a field at U of T. Uh, and there we go. Thanks for listening. Oh, and here's an addendum because it just occurred to me that I should have been more creative in this. I like to draw, uh, so if I'm getting along with a woman on a date, even on a Zoom date, uh, I will draw a picture of her. So here's something I just drew for you. It says, hello dating TV show, whatever you're called, and there's me, and here's my ideal date, and I like to go for walks and pet dogs, so hopefully she's up for that. 
And here's the tree with the apples. I mentioned apple picking, although I've never actually done that, but it sounds very romantic, so I like to throw it out there. And here's the stars that we would lie in the field and watch. And then I also like to play guitar, so if I met a nice lady, I could serenade her. I could be like, um, it's off the top of my head. Uh, oh, I met you on the dating TV show and we went on a date. Uh, but now I have to come home because I like to go to bed by eight. Okay, I really should have planned that song ahead of time, but you could see that there's potential there. I could sing something romantic for the woman. Okay, so now I've been creative. Uh, hopefully that helps my audition. Thanks.